This Paint Life TV, I'm Chris the Idaho Painter. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about paint rollers. Should you buy an expensive paint roller or should you buy a cheap paint roller? It's kind of like paint brushes. Should you buy a good one or should you buy a bad one? Well, you're only as good as your tool. So I'm gonna to talk today a little bit about paint rollers and why you should buy a professional or high quality paint roller. So stay tuned for this video. All right, here we go. We've got, well, I've got uh, paint rollers all around me. They come in all different shapes and sizes and they come in all different prices and they come in all different qualities. And I'm gonna talk a little bit about, you know, why I use a high quality paint roller and how it actually gives me professional results. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. You gotta hit the notification bell or subscribing doesn't do anything. And it's just a simple way to help support making these free videos. It won't cost you anything. It never has and it never will. And don't forget, give us a thumbs up if you enjoy our videos. So I've got, um, this is the professional quality paint roller that I use. And here is a really inexpensive, I wouldn't call it a professional, but I'd call it just maybe a do it yourself or a cheap roller where you can save money. Now, what is it about these rollers that you know, will make this roller cost more than this roller? So I'm gonna set this one aside and I'm gonna show you a lot of other different options out there too, but we'll just talk about a professional quality paint roller and why this one costs more. So some of the features of a professional quality paint roller, I'm just going to start from the handle itself. The handle is going to be bigger. It's going to be easier to grip. It's going to be a industrial plastic that is not going to break if you drop it off a roof. A professional quality paint roller is typically going to have um, some type of threads in there that you can thread it onto an extension pole. And those threads inside there, it's going to be in a uh, an industrial plastic also that's not going to strip. On a professional roller, typically your bucket hooks are gonna be oversized. They're a lot larger, easier to catch on a bucket. So it takes more plastic to make, you know, larger oversized ones. The industrial plastic is more expensive. So your added plastic is gonna cost you a little bit more. We're gonna talk about the wire frame right here too. On a professional roller, the wire frame is going to be heavier. It's going to be a larger gauge steel and it's also going to be uh, rust resistant. It's going to be coated um, in like a, um, a type of coating like a chrome coating that's going to keep it from rusting. So the larger gauge steel what it does is it create, makes it more rigid and more stiff right here and what that does is if you have a softer roller or a smaller gauge steel right here you can see this thing's going to flex a lot easier and as you're rolling and putting pressure on the wall this flex will cause what we call a trailing edge. It's gonna leave trailing edges all over your wall, up and down your wall, and those edges will show up when your paint actually dries out. So you want a stiff roller that doesn't have flex in it, and that's what a professional quality roller does for you. It has a larger gauge steel. Now we're gonna talk about the portion of the roller that actually holds your nap or um, roller on. All right, I'm gonna talk about the differences in these two rollers right here. One roller frame right here. This wire mechanism is what holds your nap on the frame. This wire mechanism is what holds your nap on this professional roller frame right here. I'm going to talk a little bit about, you know, this roller and what happens is you're going to slide your roller on and this, it, you can see it kind of bends. It's kind of spring loaded right here. That loading right there, it creates tension on the roller, but this is kind of a weak mechanism and this does weaken over time as you put a roller on and off and the roller will have a tendency to slide off your roller if you're rolling in the wrong direction which a lot of us do we're not paying attention to it if you roll this direction it's going to be pushing it on but if you roll this direction it's going to be sliding off and i i know this type of mechanism your rollers have a tendency to um, be way too loose and slide on and off this type of type of mechanism right here, this um, metal device right here, your roller comes on and this is what crimps it on there and it keeps it on a lot stronger, a lot longer, and it's less likely to fatigue and wear out and allow your rollers to roll off. So this is the mechanism that holds it on right here. 
So I'm going to talk a little bit also about the the um, roller itself. It's spinning on here and how it's kept on. Over time, if you keep your rollers in water to clean them, your water is going to cause rust and damage. Eventually, these things will break, fatigue, or rust and come off. Now, cheaper rollers, these things break on average probably about 50% sooner than a roller like a, a Blue Tiger right here would um, last. So I'm going to show you you this here's a cheap uh, four inch roller right here and the mechanism that is used to hold the roller on is this little um, sleeve right here and it's kind of pressed inside here these things probably last you know maybe 10 10 to 12 paint jobs and they rust really fast they do have a lot of flex to them but it is just a four inch roller so you're not putting a lot of pressure but i i see these things rust a lot right here the spring loading on here this is a lot tighter than it is on a nine inch roller so it holds your naps on there better but it is shorter wire so it's um it's a lot stiffer because it is shorter but this is a cheap inexpensive four inch roller and i'll show you that compared to a more expensive like wooster four inch roller that has your professional frame it's got heavier gauge steel it's got a lot larger bucket hook it's got a handle that's a lot easier to hold on to and grip than these um basically dollar items right here but if you're throwing away your rollers and not cleaning them this is a really good option versus a larger wooster roller um like this so another quality about a professional roller is, is typically a professional roller or high quality roller, the roller is going to spin a lot more freely than a cheap roller. So you're going to have a lot less drag. If you're using like microfiber rollers and your roller doesn't spin freely, the roller will have a tendency to drag on the wall with microfiber rollers. So you want a roller that's going to spin you extremely freely. So th there you have it. There's some of the... Um, you know, features and options about a professional quality roller. So should you spend the money on a professional quality roller? You're on average, you're only gonna be spending like four to five dollars more on a professional quality roller versus a cheap throwaway roller and it's going to last you at least 50 percent longer it's going to give you better results uh, specifically not give you trailing edges and that is really really annoying when it comes to rolling walls specifically if you're doing like accent walls with dark um, colors or thin paints that will leave you know trailing edges really bad there's all kinds of options out there we've got um 18 inch double rollers where you can put two nine inch rollers on you do have four inch jumbo rollers out there this is a, a four inch uh, professional quality jumbo roller if you like using jumbo rollers there are like extension rollers um you got roller frames that flex right here there's um that's really cool we've even got jumbo rollers right here here's a jumbo roller that is got a long extension on it so this could if you have say um a flat screen tv you can't remove from a wall you can paint behind i've used this before painting behind a flat screen tv you can use it for getting behind toilets somebody on um, my social media here recently asked how do i paint behind my toilet that's an option to painting behind your toilet. You do even have, this is something I actually found, I think at like a dollar store and um, it's a little extension pole. So it extends out. And I thought, well, that's kind of handy with a little six inch uh, microfiber mini, you know, roller on it. I wouldn't say that's a professional quality roller, but I picked it up cheap, even put my name on it right there. And that came out of my vehicle right there. Here's, um, I do use, you know, cheap throwaway four inch rollers right here. And um, cause a lot of times we're not cleaning out our rollers and naps due to environmental regulations or where we're at. And so these things are inexpensive and we toss them out. But you know, my favorite roller that I've ever used of all time is a um, Premier Blue Tiger roller. This is a professional quality roller at a very reasonable price. This thing is awesome. I've been using it for years. So there you have it, some, um, some advice or some um, thoughts 
of why you should purchase a professional quality roller. Invest in professional tools and you'll get professional results. If you've got a favorite roller, uh, leave it down in the comment section below which one you use. If you got one you don't like, just let us know also down in the comment section below hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell and like we all say if you want to come back and check us out right here on paint life tv we'll see you next time out